So hello and welcome back. Previous episode we built this nice common room and you can see that this place is like really filthy and we don't want it to be filthy, we want it to be clean. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, what I also want to do, I want to put some prisoners to work, right? Uh, maybe in the kitchen and also maybe build some, uh, build a laundry room, build a mail room, build a cleaning cupboard, right? So our prisoners uh, have stuff to do or can clean and that would be nice. So first things first, let's like uh, divide this in two. And I'm also gonna put like something there. Or no, let's not do that. I'm gonna do it like this, like this. put something there and I might put the cleaning cupboard over here and then we built built uh, and then we'll put a uh, this door we can put it over there and then let's see to finish this grant we need to unlock cleaning through bureaucracy we also need to unlock groundskeeping but I don't have the money, so that's a problem. Let's take a grant. Uh, so inmate nutrition research. And I don't think I have to spend any money to do this. The only thing I have to do is I have to take uh, switch the regime. And I need to serve a single low quality, low variety meal for two days. So a single one, uh, and instead of eating, they will just go to lock up, right? And what they also want is they want me to change the meal plans. Yeah, so what they want is they want the nutritional policy. They want that to be low and low. So low quantity, low variety. Uh, for two days and then we do three high variety high quantity meals for two days so okay we will do that and uh, prisoners gonna get kind of grumpy prisoners are not gonna like that I think the danger is going to increase maybe also decrease because they are malnutrition right and they uh, won't be able to riot so uh, you know, we will see. Oh, and I also got like a whole bunch of money, apparently. I don't know how I got it. Weird. But anyway, which means we can also unlock cleaning. Right. Uh, so, we need one gardener for this grant complete, and we need two janitors, apparently. So the gardener is gonna get to work. Uh, I can't see him, but he's working somewhere. <laughs> and once I hire the two janitors, I'm gonna start putting my prisoners to work. I also got the long-term investment. I did a long-term investment. And uh, there was one grant, and then you put uh, down 5,000, you get 16,000 back later. And also, we got our janitors, right? Great. So we got a whole lot of money, which is amazing. Uh, we got space for a lot of grants. So we can take like a bunch of grants. Uh, I'm not going to do this right now. Uh, okay. So I could, I just clicked that one and I completed it. Uh, I got a lot of money, by the way. I'm going to put in a laundry room. Uh, we're gonna put in a mail room. Minimum size five times five, five by five. Uh, okay. So I rebuilt them with a better layout. Uh, let's see. Now we can make this a laundry room, right? And we can make this 
a mail room. And these idiots built the door the wrong way around. Anyway, like a radiator so that it do not get too cold. Maybe also like some chairs, you know. Be nice, build some chairs. We also need some light. Uh, also one light is good enough. I think that's good. And now we also need a laundry room. Again, like I said, I'm not really planning it out. I'm just uh, winging it, right? I'm just gonna put like four, probably enough. I don't know, maybe also not. I'm gonna put like four of those. And then put like two ironing tables. <laughs> I don't know if that's like correct, the correct amount. I don't know if that will fulfill the needs of the prisoners. Maybe, maybe not. If it doesn't, then we will just build some more, right? So we can already see our prison it looks a lot nicer right now. And then this room is going to be a cleaning cupboard. And what we could do right now, so we can assign things, right? So we can assign six prisoners to work there. I'm just gonna start with four. Uh, start with four here as well. I don't know if more equals, uh, I also want four in the kitchen. I don't know if more equals worse, right? What happens when I assign 10? Uh, and before people can start working in the kitchen, what we need is we need to train them. So, kitchen safety and hygiene. We're gonna start that. And then six people are interested. Two of them are in the program right now. So it's gonna cost some money. But you know, it's nice to get the prisoners working. From 10 a.m. to 12 a.m. So it's almost 10 a.m. So, like you see, two of them are starting to work. I'm not a fan of this staff door. They can break through it, like, really easily. Uh, we also need some water over here. And we also forgot the lights. We need some lights. So you can see that they're starting to work. Uh, this guy is on drugs. I just saw the pill. So, like you see, the prisoners are working. I can't, I can't let you go out here, right? Don't let him out. Don't let him out. Please don't let him out. <laughs> he just let him out of the prison. The guy just could have just walked out. What an idiot. So anyway, like the needs of our prisoners are like pretty much done. So like the big needs of our prisoners are taken care of. Uh, like I have a lot of money and I think we're gonna spend the next episode. So it's gonna be okay, maybe build like a whole prison cell, a prison block over here. Uh, I also want to expand the infirmary. Uh, I wanted to build maybe like a psychiatrist's office, uh, build a place where there can be parole hearings. Uh, I also want a visitation area, right? Install some door controls so we can uh, make our prison more efficient so they don't get stuck behind these doors, right? That kind of stuff. So, a lot to do. Uh, and we will see. So, in the coming episode. But for now, goodbye.